And today we're going to be talking about ice, ice, baby, too cold. And that's right. What we have, we have round ice cube trays. How cool is that? <laughs> Literally, right? But anyway, what you're going to get is you get three of these trays. Each tray has 33 ice cubes. You also get the container for the trays themselves. You can use this in the freezer if you need a way to stack them, or you can just use it separately to store them. You have a little scooper to scoop them out with. You also have a pair of tongs for picking up individual ice cubes as well, like if you know, like a, a bar type setting. And you can also use this as the actual ice tray itself. So as you make them, you can just dump them in here and have a separate storage bin for your round ice cubes. Now round ice cubes are not something that most people use every day, but they're great for parties, cocktails, specialty drinks. They're great for doing like uh, little like fruit treats or whatever. You can blend up watermelon and different fruits and put them in here and just have nice little round snacks for the kids. Just a lot of cool options that you can do with these. We're gonna open one of these up. And I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so you can see that the ice molds come in two different halves. Just separate it like this. This is the bottom. The bottom has the, the feet on the corners to give it more stability. And then you have the tops. The tops have the tiny little holes in it. That way, when you press it down over the water, the air doesn't get trapped inside, messing your ice cubes up. And the way that you're gonna do this, let me turn the camera down for you. You're gonna take your water, and I'm just gonna use bottled water for this. And you just pour it in there. How about that? Took a full bottle of water, exactly. So after you put your water in the tray, you're just gonna take the top and you're gonna press it on. Just slowly push it down. Just like so. Snap it all the way in there. And then you're gonna take this tray and put it in the freezer and let it freeze. Don't worry about the little bit of water left in the top, just let that freeze with everything else. Now, another thing to note too, about these molds is they're super shiny and well polished. I guess polished is a poor word, but it's like a silicone type mold. So the ice is gonna come out of them quite easily. It's not gonna stick. So you shouldn't have too much trouble getting your ice out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go freeze this and then we're gonna come back and see exactly what we're gonna get. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and I just pulled this out the freezer and I made a very crucial mistake. I put some meat fresh from the grocery store on top of this side of the ice tray and it seems to have melted part of the ice potentially. So I don't expect it all to be frozen solid, but at least this side should be. So we're gonna crack this and see exactly what you're gonna get out of the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down to give you a better view. All right, and here we go. We're just gonna separate the two halves and instantly I see water pouring out. But, see how easy that just pops out? You just give it a twist. And the molds are all completely clean. Just that easy. And check out these. How cool is that? Just perfectly well done. Some of them are almost completely clear and uh, just very cool. Great for parties. Like I said, you can do frozen desserts with these as well. You can do watermelon water or frozen yogurt or just whatever you choose to do. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.